I'm Shuni Magya. I started a tiny weenie craft shop in about 96. And then slowly it grew and grew. And as I realized people need a bit of this or they wanted a basket or that, or whatever they wanted, I managed to sort of get these products and grow and grow and grow. And now there are three banana boat shops. No trees are chopped for this because it's the root of the olive wood tree that they were chopped many years ago, sadly. But now they're using and digging up the roots of these old olive wood trees and making them into these lovely bowls and salt pots. Now we're starting to write, this one doesn't have a label, but we're writing a story about it. And I've just got to, the one step we've got to go further is who actually wove this basket. Because when we get them, they have names on them. People want to hear the story behind things, you know. Not just that they're buying another carving, they want to know who did it or... Why? Who made it? Who wove it? How they did it? You know. So we're telling more stories along with our crafts. Paper craft. It was set up in 2006, and basically, a friend of mine set up a paper company. But unfortunately, she had to leave Uganda, and she sold it. And the people who took it over, it ran into the ground, and they became desperate. We continued all those years to sell the products through our shops. But um, Harriet, who was the general manager, came and told the, the difficult situation. They tried to buy it themselves and they couldn't. And so we decided to help them set up on their own. We found a, we found a plot of land, we found a rundown house, converted it, and we bought a press, we bought, we bought a blender, we bought scissors and, you know, everything that, you need, that we needed. And we set up. The original members, 12 members, are shareholders in the company. My name is Harriet and I quit paper craft. We make handmade paper. It all starts here. We make paper from the banana fibers, the elephant grass and the pineapples. So with the banana fibers or the elephant grass, we just cut into small pieces. We cook them for eight hours. After the cooking, we have a machine, which was originally a drilling machine. We have modernized it into a blender by putting blades onto the drilling machine. So when it runs, it cuts the fibers to very small pieces to make it pop. We get the pop and we mix it into a big barrel of water and we lift it on screens. These screens are made of a frame with a mosquito net on top. So we just lift the pop through and the water drains out and the pop stays on top. Then we hang outside to dry. We entirely depend on the weather. If it's a hot day, the paper will be dry by afternoon. We pull it off smoothly and the screen is ready for reuse and then we put it to the press. When I joined, I had no experience about this paper making from natural fibers, but we learned yeah, quickly and have now gained experience. <laughs>